My injury happened um, July 28th, 2014, uh, just three days before coming back home. At first, I mean, I with not having much finger function and hand function, I was like, man, how am I gonna play games now? And I actually heard about the Xbox Adaptive Controller online, that there was an adaptive controller in the works, which for me as a therapist was like, bing, you know, the light went off and I was like, how can we do this? When I first heard about the adaptive controller, I mean, I just thought it was amazing that they're actually trying to do stuff for guys who aren't able to compete as well as others, you know, playing video games. As technology changes, we have to change our therapeutic approaches. The video gaming, which is, has been great because it offers such versatility. I mean, we can assign therapeutic value to any game, fine motor skill development, gross motor skill development, we're looking at decision-making skills, and use the games or manipulate the games into their treatment plan. You know, it's that social aspect of being able to connect with uh, folks in a virtual world I kind of bring you back to reality. When you're on active duty and you're moving around and you're searching houses. You get keyed up. Your adrenaline is rushing. It is a lifestyle. They finish their job and they want to go meet up with their friends online. And if you are a gamer prior to entering the military, you're still going to be a gamer once you get into the military. One of the patients, his brother had been visiting too. With the co-pilot attachment, I set them up. And he says the first time in three years that he'd been able to game with his brother. I think once this gets out, more and more people with disabilities you know, are, are going to want to get into gaming just because they see, you know, anybody and everybody can do it. It's not just for those without disabilities. It's really a big self-confidence builder to build in self-esteem. I think gaming is helping soldiers like myself getting back into playing um, and doing what they love and um, bring joy back to their life. So I'm really excited that Microsoft and Xbox has reached out to the Department of Veterans Affairs in developing a partnership, and particularly with the adaptive controller and gaming and just really um, getting VA on board and starting to provide these opportunities. Video gaming is an important aspect for our veterans both before and after their injuries because it's a road to get them back to feeling some level of normalcy. Mm -hmm.